Now to some new details emerging about a murder-suicide earlier this week. Gigi Gracia joins us now from Woodland Hills, getting some more insights on the mother there. Good morning, Gigi. And just some disturbing information coming out about possibly the mindset that this woman had before she went on this murderous crime spree. It's just a, a, a tragic story all the way around. A lot of our foundations as a society are toxic. They're mm -hmm. ungrounded and they're mm -hmm. unrealistic. Her name was Danielle Johnson, but to her over 103,000 followers on social media, the 34-year-old was known as a yoka, a mystic, and an astrologer, seen here on the Scotty and Sylvia show. In the week leading up to her death, Johnson had been posting constantly about the upcoming eclipse, warning her followers that they needed to choose a side talking about the apocalypse and that something big was going to happen. She also shared conspiracy theories and anti-Semitic posts. Investigators analyzing the social media posts as they try to understand what led her to stab her boyfriend, Jalen Cheney, to death inside their Woodland Hills apartment and then take her two daughters and push them out of her moving car onto the 405 freeway. That's where her eight-month-old daughter that she shared with Cheney died and her nine-year-old daughter was seriously injured. She then died by suicide after slamming her car at 100 miles per hour into a tree in Redondo Beach. This happening hours before Monday's eclipse. I mean, she was warning people. She was uh, saying, pick a side. Uh, the, the way that she typed about it was in all caps. Um, you know, and you could tell by her actions that it wasn't just a, a ploy to get attention or, you know, drive up her followers or whatever the streams or whatever she was looking for. It, it looked like she was very disturbed. Now, Johnson was also a recording artist, she said, according to another account that she managed. And she had an Etsy store where, under the handle of Rich Girl Magic, she sold audio recordings of her voice for healing and astrological readings. And inside her apartment, we're told, dozens of tarot card decks, candles, religious figurines, feathers, altars were all found. As for her nine-year-old daughter, she is healing from the broken bones and so much more. She's in the care of the Department of Children and Family Services. Her father lives out of state, and right now it's unclear if he's actually going to care for her or what will happen. Mm. Reporting live in Woodland Hills, I'm Gigi Gracia. Back to you. Oh, my goodness. Gigi, thank you very much. It's one of those stories that you just can't stop thinking about. Doesn't make sense. Nope. Yeah.